thing was, though, at that point, man, I was so into music. Skateboarding took a back seat, and I just couldn't stop going to shows. I was like, everything about punk rock was just like, you know, I, I went to these backyards, and then all of a sudden someone said, hey, do you want to go to San Francisco? We're going to drive up. My dad would let me drive with people. He loved that I was going to San Francisco. Before I knew it, I'm at the On Broadway, and I'm seeing every single show that would come through On Broadway, X, Black Flag, Circle Jerks. Everyone is coming through there. And I was the guy, like, I would pay, there'd be 10 bands. I'd pay all fucking seven bucks. I'd go in, and I would be in the front the whole fucking show, all seven bands. Local bands loved me because I would sing along with them. They'd be like, how do you know our song? I've seen you 10 times. <laughs> I've got the seven inch. Damn, we like when you come to the show. <laughs> and with my dad, he knew how much I love it. So he was like, it's great. You're going to the city. You're, you know, you're experiencing life. I love it. And then he kind of picked up on the fact that I wanted to go to every show. So like every weekend I'd sit down with him. I'd be like, dad, you know, it'd be halftime of some game. Dad, I got to talk to you for a second. Bad religion is coming up here for one show, and then they're gonna break up. <laughs> 20, 25 years? Then they're gonna break up. I would have to tell him because I couldn't sell it to him like, hey, they're gonna come up, I'm gonna grow up with the guy, and I'll see him all the time, it'll be fucking great. I had to be like, Dad, bad religion's coming up. Rumor is, rumor is on the street, Dad, they're gonna break up. And I had to lay out like their records, interviews with the band. It was like a business meeting to discuss going to the show. He'd sit there and he'd look at me. Hmm, when is this show? <laughs> Easter Sunday. <laughs> Seriously, Bad Religion played in San Francisco at the Mab on Easter Sunday. Perfect. Marketing is awesome. You know? And I was like, Dad, I gotta go. And he's like, Really? You wanna go to that show? He's looking at the records, the interviews, the photographs. <laughs> you know what I've heard, Joey? There's a speech contest going on. That's what I've heard on the street. And I'm like, speech contest what? Like at the Bad Religion show? <laughs> you know, I heard the singer's smart. He's going to give a speech? Fuck, OK. He's like, no, 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 no. At uh, Westmont, uh, there's speech contest going on. I think you need to get into that speech contest. I think you need to win it. And I think then if you win it, you can go see Bad Religion on Easter Sunday. Oh, what the fuck is that? Joey, Jesus. Enter the speech contest so I can go see Bad Religion? Next day, Monday, yeah, all right, I'm gonna enter a speech contest. I power in there, Mr. Fink. I walk into this English class and I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, I wanna enter the speech contest that's going on by the end of the quarter. And he's like, what are you doing here? You're the guy in the smoking section that stands on his hands all the time. So yeah, I wanna win and be in the speech contest. Well, it's too late. You know, I have to be in the speech contest. You don't understand why. I need to be in the speech contest. At a certain point, the guy's just like, all right, join up. So I join up and I'm in this class with all these pricks that know that I don't want to be there and I'm only there because I want to go see Bad Religion on a Sunday on Easter and that's the only reason and everything's going in one ear and out the other but I end up fucking winning the speech contest and to prove it I still have my fucking trophy right here I win the speech contest and I gotta go see Bad Religion true story But at that point, dude, I swear to God, punk rock was everything to me. I wouldn't miss a show. I saw every band. I saw Minor Threat, Youth Brigade, Seven Second, American Hardcore on the same bill. I was up front for everything. When the farm opened up, after the On Broadway closed, I would go there every single weekend. Seven bands. I would slam dance for fucking 10 hours. I'd run around. I could fucking stage dive. I did a stage dive at Minor Threat where I jumped over the crowd. <laughs> like, seriously, I was fucking so stoked. And my friends were like, dude, you fucking disappeared. And I'm like, I know. There was no one there to catch me. Yeah, you're supposed to land on the crowd. I would just be stoked, you know? And when bands would come through, they would ask like, hey man, when we play the city, do you think Joe will be there? Because you know, if you were, you remember when like the crowd would be watching me like, fuck, these guys sucks. I'd always be the guy, fucking here we go. <laughs> I was like the official pit starter. It's funny who you take advice from because I was at the farm one night and the guy that like does all the monitors, you know, the band got done and he's like wrapping up the cords and you know, I'm sitting there at the front <laughs> waiting for the next band. Like I'm waiting for the band to throw me a song. I'm like a dog, I'll fetch it. Like, yeah. And the guy looks down at me and he's like, you're the fucking asshole that fucking knocked all this shit over. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm positive. Yeah, I was cool. 
And he looks down at me, and he says to me, and it's funny because your whole life, you know, your parents say things to you, hey, you should go to college. My grandma, she always wanted me to get a job that, so I could be part of the union. And I was like, really? All right, cool. Never listen to anybody, but some guy wrapping up cords and tattoos, probably on parole, which is cool, says, hey, why don't you get in a fucking band? You're more into it than the guys on stage. And that was all it took. I just walked out, I'm gonna start a fucking band. I'm gonna start a band. I'm gonna get in a band, because I can fucking do that shit, what's up? And I'm gonna fucking jump, and I'm gonna fucking sing, and I went to my first audition to be in a band with my dad. He drove me there, he bought me a microphone, and this band was practicing in Blossom Hill in San Jose, and we went to their house, and once again, there's no parents anywhere, and they're in the living room, there's a dude with a mohawk, skinhead with fucking drums, some other guy, and they were singing through, I don't know how they did it, but they hooked up the PA through the parents' stereo, and they're fucking going for it. And the other guys were trying out, and it was my turn to try out. And the other guys, you know, honestly, they weren't professional. Because <laughs> I came with lyrics and a microphone. I mean, I had written a song. I'd never heard the song that I was going to sing, but I had, like, a song, and it was heavy shit. It was about suicide. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid? That's how you freak people out. I'll fucking kill myself. That's what I'll do. <laughs> and my dad would be like, you're not fucking killing yourself. We're not doing that shit. I don't, want I don't want that game, Joey. I don't like it. I don't like the suicide shit. I don't like it. Now stop it. Let me see those lyrics. No, let me see the lyrics. Don't sing this shit. You like this shit? Why do you sing that shit? I don't like it. I went in there and I fucking went for it. I'm fucking doing my moves, fucking jumping, doing whatever. And then I go outside and they had like a meeting over a clove cigarette. And they were gonna pick who was a singer. And sure enough, man, I'm like, I'm the fucking dude. And they picked the guy with the mohawk. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm still pissed about it. The guy was totally unprofessional. What it feels like much better. Try to find